Leading straight on from our tutorial on the Design Center, what we're going to look at now is something called tool palettes. Now, the reason why we have tool palettes is that the Design Center, as good as it is, is looking at files which are quite possibly separate from your computer. So they're not within sort of the install directory on your local machine for AutoCAD. Uh, they could well be on a network, they could be on a different machine, they, they could be anywhere really. What we've got with tool palettes is the ability to access blocks which are stored locally on your machine, which means that the access time is a lot quicker. It's a lot easier for, for AutoCAD to get to them. You might have noticed that with Design Center, when I was dragging items from Design Center into my drawing, there was a very fractional lag. Now, if you're doing that over a network, that will become a lot more apparent to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my View tab on my ribbon panel here, on my ribbon bar, and I'm going to click Tool Palettes here, nice big icon for us so we can't miss it. And you can see that as I go through here, we've got lots of sort of various elements that we can pull in, uh, mechanical, electrical, civil, structural. A lot of these are just um, sort of very simple elements, and if I want to, um, we can find all sorts of things here. Um, not all of these are the same as what you would find in the drawings, incidentally. So I should um, I should point that out. Okay, so that's more for our 3D. Uh, let's see, fluorescent lights. Okay, we've got all sorts of things here. We've got woods. These are the materials that we could use. This is, as I say, for the 3D for the um, for the 3D side of things. Uh, let's say hatches and fills. So maybe what I want to do is I want to use um, something like this gradient fill gradient sample and I'm going to drag and drop that and there you go very quick very simple so if I wanted to I'll take this gravel um, that gravel I might not want to put that there maybe we'll put that um, we'll have some kind of a funky indoor theme thing going on so that's the tool palette but what we can also do and it's very easy it's just drag and drop um, what we can also do is I can from my design center you can see here these are all of the blocks that we've got for the drawing that we've just been working with. What I can do, um, looking at this landscaping just there, if I go to my open drawings, you see these are all the blocks that I've got in my current drawing. If I find a bit of blank space down here, if I right click in there, you can see right at the bottom of that right click menu there's this thing called Create Tool Palette. So if I just click on that Create Tool Palette, we give things a few moments. You'll find that. Um, so is it a okay? Well, that's possibly because um, there's we're maybe going to get a few of these because I've maybe deleted a few things. Yes, unfortunately, this is going to show me up for being uh, rather slack on my drawing. Um, what it's saying is is that they're they're not in the drawing. Now, what has just happened then is it took a few moments after those errors, and I do apologise for those. After those errors went through, we've actually created our own tool palette, which has actually got all of these elements in that we were using in this drawing. So I've actually got my range oven, I've got my dining set here, I've got a desk, I've got a chair, all very useful. And as soon as I want to, I can just click one of those and we can say, bang, there we go, dining table. If I want to take a chair, I can take my chair. I can maybe put that in the corner of the room here. There we go. And because of the draw order, because that was placed in after the gradient, it sits on top of the gradient. So all in all, the tool palette is a very useful, very quick and very simple way of working with blocks in AutoCAD 2010. And the thing to remember as well is when I close down AutoCAD, when I open up the next time, these blocks all of these palettes here in this, this tool palette uh, option tab that I've created will still be with AutoCAD. It won't disappear away. I, it won't be like sort of the, um, the design center where maybe I've got to go and look for the drawing again and look for the blocks again. I can load them and have them here instantly at the click of a mouse. So again, a very, very useful function.